everyone and welcome to CVHP News. I'm Sonora Scott. It's Tuesday, August 25th. As of yesterday, August 24th, there are 3,094 total positive cases of COVID-19 that have been tested in Tom Green County. 704 of those cases are active and being monitored and 43 people are currently being hospitalized. Now, let's focus on some good news. Several members of the faith-based community came together to help a woman in need. I was able to be there for their efforts over the weekend. It's the sound of the community coming together. Volunteers spending their weekend helping Norma Garcia. So I sent out an email to the faith-based community here in San Angelo uh, to see if anyone would respond. And the, the response was overwhelming. I, I sent it out and within, literally within an hour, I had uh, responses from churches that met the financial need. Thousands of dollars came in within an hour. See, Norma is adopting two of her grandchildren. We want the kids to be in a safe place. So, you know, when we look at, we always want them to go with relatives. And when we look at relatives, we also have to look at, are the kids gonna be safe there? And whenever, you know, the home needs repairs and stuff that might not be safe. She's been fostering them for a while, but in order for everything to be completed and her certification insured, her home needed to be repaired. It's, I've had a long struggle. You know, I've tried to do some things on my own. She's put in hours working on her home, plus raising two young children and holding down a steady job. Now, Norma is quite handy herself. I know plumbing and I know this, do sheetrock and all that, you know. I'm not scared to climb a ladder. <laughs> so she was shocked when she got the call that help was on the way. I got emotional, yeah. So far, a total of 18 volunteers and six churches have gotten involved. Eight of those volunteers from the CPS office. Patching the roof, trash hauled away, siding replaced or repaired, new floors, it's all in the works. Now, Norma and her grandchildren can focus on school. Yes, all three of them. Norma is going back to get her high school diploma. It's going little by little, but I'm getting there. It'll be a little while, but I'll get it. And uh, I will accomplish that. And they, they are my, bi uh, my big inspiration. As for the inspiration seen and felt on that morning, Norma has a message for all of those involved. I am so very grateful. I, there's no more words than to give the thanks to the Lord, thanks to all these people, and may God bless everybody. For Contra Valley Homepage, I'm Sonora Scott. Now let's check in with RJ Martin who has a look at the weather. Hey Jay. Well, after a nice cool start to our day of some upper 60s, we're going to get to the upper 90s for us. 97, a plenty of sunshine as well. We're staying cool with us for mostly the day and then also into our evening getting back into those 60s. And I say cool and that is because at the end of the week and into the weekend, we're getting back into, of course, dry triple digits and even warm lows. We're hitting 100 by Thursday, 103 by Friday and mid 70s for our overnight lows. So we're getting back to a very warm pattern. So enjoy the upper 90s and upper 60s for the beginning of your week. Well, thanks, Jay, and thank you all for joining me for CVHP News. Don't forget to follow us on social media and download our free app. All you have to do is search Contra Valley homepage in your app store. That's all for right now, but we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everybody.